As I mentioned in a previous video, to define your SOC 2 report scope, it's critical to think through who is asking for your SOC 2, what are the services you provide them, and where does that underlying data live? After you define and describe your system in the report, you should choose the categories that you want to include. What's a category? Remember that the SOC 2 is essentially a report of how a set of controls that you define supports the criteria defined by the AICPA. Those criteria are organized into five categories. And with one exception, you get to choose which categories to include in the report. So let's look at each of the five categories, what it is and when to include it or not. Security. Number one, security, keeping the bad guys out of your system. This is required on all SOC 2 reports. Controls here will center around everything from access controls to vendor risk mitigation to your board of directors. Number two, availability. Is your system reliably available to provide the services that you commit to your customers for? These criteria are going to focus on items like backups, system monitoring, and recovery tests. In practice, there are only a few criteria in this category, and it can be relatively easy to add on if you are already performing those controls, which many companies are. Confidentiality. Number three, confidentiality. Do you classify confidential, aka highly sensitive information effectively and put proper safeguards in place to protect it? Controls here will look at things like data classification and retention procedures, as well as data destruction, hardware disposal, etc. Again, there are only a few criteria here, and it could potentially be easy to tack on. Processing integrity. Are your system processing procedures complete, valid, accurate, timely, and authorized? Was that way too fast? It was for me too. In practice, these controls are going to vary highly depending on what your services are. However, one example control might be that uh, data validation checks are performed upon the data transfer from a third-party application to your system. Number five, privacy. How do you manage and protect personal data? Have you heard of GDPR, CCPA? This uh, category will be dealing with many of the same things. So if your customers are in an environment that demands you follow privacy legislation, Adding on the privacy category can be a great way to build trust with those customers.